Hey everyone, it's your favorite monkey and welcome back to Starbase. And behind me is the Inquisitor in... Well, I've been spending about a day or so trying to get uh, get the balancing to work and correctly and whatnot. And uh, yeah, big shout out to Kenetov for actually helping me out. I gave him the blueprint of the ship and he helped me with the balancing of the uh, ship. Because if you guys remember that these thrusters, uh, this, there was actually just one here. Um, and I moved it to the back and that seemed like it sorted out the balancing issue but it was still firing like full power um, I replaced the thrusters back to normal size uh, or the normal positions where they were and I did uh, give him the uh, blueprint and what he told me was actually very interesting you know what let's go let's get out of here uh, show you guys in the normal editor not in the test flight so that uh, you know there's actually better visualizations there, and also the uh, lighting is a little bit better. So, um, what I what we have is center of mass and center of thrust. So basically, this little uh, square represents the center of mass. So all the, the the whole mass of the ship is over here. This little square over here is the center of thrust. What that means is all the thrust power comes from here and shoots outwards. So everything at this point gets pushed forward um so yeah anyways what you want to do is try to align your center of mass and your center of thrust basically that's kind of what you need to do and uh thanks to Kenneth to pointing this out that it needed to be done so i sort of have it in a way i'm going to keep it this way for just for a little while um because i'm going to start working on the flight deck in a, like you know soon <laughs> it's going to be in this video this is like the whole point of this video so uh basically what, what i had to do was if you guys remember that these thrusters were a bit more sp uh, splits apart and these thrusters these top ones were actually at the bottom so he recommended that i move these bo bottom thrusters to the top and um get rid of some of the beam structures i had and bring these closer to together. Well, I, I decided to bring them closer together just to have it a bit more neat looking. Um, so it's not extra materials being used. And I just know... No, no, no. It's all good. Uh, and I... Uh, yeah. So what I did was... Uh, I lined it up and it looked like, okay, where do I need to push these thrusters to? Like, where, up, up or down? And I kind of moved them actually a little bit more upwards. Uh, if we, if there was a way to show you guys, um, I think these thrusters were basically sitting up, up between these, like this beam and this beam, like around here. And look how much I had to move these guys up just to get the center of thrust to line up with the center of mass. And that made one hell of a difference. Massive, massive difference. So if you're finding yourself, um, you know, uh, like your ship is tipping forward or backwards, switch on the center of mass and center of thrust, you know, over here, and see if they do line up, first of all, and get them to line up. That means by moving your thrusters around at the back, where your thrust is happening. Like I said, this is where all the thrust happens, and then everything behind this line gets pushed forward, and everything behind it gets pushed backwards. So you kind of want to move your thrusters around so that you have a nice center uh, or, or a line between your center of mass and center of thrust. And that is that. And then I welded everything together, I tested it out, and it works beautifully. It flies quite natural. Although, <clears throat> like I said, um, we're gonna, I'm going to start with the uh, flight deck today and see what I can do with that. Uh, like I said, the uh, entrance is going to be back here where you get into the ship. Go down to the main guns over here or to the engine room. Uh, or you can just, you know, go straight to the uh, flight deck over here. Uh, the thing is, what I'm trying to do is, why I'm not really tampering with this more now, is because we have to add not just the flight deck, but the main weapons and all the other things needed to power up the generators, these weapons, um, uh, where the batteries go, where the radiators go, and those things. So that is the next step on what I am going to do. So today is going to be just like um, figuring out the flight deck, having the controls in the correct place and whatnot. Um, I'm thinking of a normal, like a, just a normal flight deck, not like the Loxodonta that had a weird look to it, <coughs> that shape. 
basically what I was thinking is maybe actually grabbing this bottom part right the, this this part here and duplicate it up there instead of let it um, end uh, end itself over here we will have it end over here the full length of the body um, the reason being is that top down it needs to be symmetrical so from left to right it is actually pretty symmetrical right as you can see the um, like it's actually a nice square but the top part and the bottom part is not symmetrical so I was thinking why don't we just make it symmetrical have that as a flight deck and that stretches just all the way to over here it's going to be the only place where it's not symmetrical it will be this place but that is so minor very very uh, like a minor thing uh, and yeah I think that is going to be the issue of today or the uh, task for today is to get the flight deck going and I want to get the controls in everything right now so everything is perfect then after that we will the uh, the words words are hard especially when it's in English um, then I was maybe if there's time I will try to see if I cannot get the main guns online as well um, I have an idea what I want to do this well a couple of ideas I want to play around with first so I don't know if there will be time if there will be then it sh shall be in this video otherwise it will be in the next one um, and then once that is done I'm going to look at the center of mass, see how much it's shifted. Uh, and then what I want to do is kind of start plating. The plating is actually going to start along with the flight deck. So I want to plate this top part up until, well, maybe just up until here, just plate it. But I want to have the uh, flight deck structure ready to rock and roll up up here. Um, so that, but the top part of the flight deck's roof, you could basically say, will be plated. So that will be out of the way then. Uh, the reason why I'm trying to do this is so that we want to see if we cannot actually shorten this uh, ship. Maybe actually take out this chunk over here completely. Just have that squished together. Even though it does take away from the original idea of the ship, um, we have to work within Starbase's um, voxel limits and whatnot. And they did point out to me that we are almost halfway to voxel volume with the... Uh, uh, this ship and then if plating comes in that will take probably the other half and then we will end up with the same situation as the Loxodonta. So we want to do that try to get this middle piece uh, out if we can if we can take it out then it would mean a lot for the uh, you know the voxel limit uh, in regards to plating so yeah but I'm, I'm also debating if I want this to be a complete like just a roof which will be plated and then the windows are all around or maybe halfway windows or something we will see about that but anyways let me get to work and i will see you guys in a second all right welcome back so this is what i got for us i know it doesn't look it, it looks like a little tram you know like a tram system like a high-tech one but uh yeah this is how the cockpit's gonna look like or the flight deck i should say um well, maybe it would be a cockpit. I don't know. So don't just don't care about. Oh, you know what? Let's go. <laughs> let's go in, shall we? Um, yeah, this is what I got. The whole I. So what I want to do is have two doors here, but I'm having a little bit of issues with a few things, the beams and whatnot. But I'm tr I'm going to try to work around that. So yeah, the whole idea would be here. Um, we go to the, you know, chair, sit in it, and then. I really like this field of view. And what I did was with the chair, you know, you can only see that far with the chair. You cannot really move around in the chair, uh, you know, it's except for turning around. And then also up to there. So we have a decent view around us. And then the other feature would be, you know, obviously stand around and, you know, look out for any ships coming up on the poor miners or something, you know that um although i know kenneth mentioned to me like just have to remember like we have six seconds of between six and ten seconds if if, if people are coming in to rob the poor miners we have to react um so yeah that i i understand that completely um but when i did the test flight when the when the um engine was well still attached to the ship um this thing actually did turn around really quickly, but that was without plating or whatnot. So there's still weight that needs to be added to this. And uh, yeah. So the other thing I did was I actually did 
uh, it's a been it's been a few hours now. What I did was I actually rebuilt the whole frame of this thing. So the the whole ship was first of all was on this side, and this new frame was on this side. Um, what I did was actually you know I got tired of the gaps that was in between the beams we had here, like in the middle, and I decided to like you know just let's just do something. The only quote unquote curse bolting that's gonna happen, the only curse thing about this is basically like why would you do that oh crap oh crap don't don't bump into the things um okay we're good we're good is basically this um this thing is doesn't really want to align properly so i had it attached there there down there and over here and also at the front i did also do something yeah a little meh you know something a little meh but that's that and the only curse bolting that's gonna happen is probably over here um although if i do the double beam like this then yes i know there's a durability error the, the thing doesn't have an engine the um we can have double beams like that again so it would still be a proper thing but um i wanted to work around this there is work around for it uh but yeah so what i'm gonna do now is basically try to get the engine back into the ship um i'm gonna leave the cockpit as is uh maybe i will see if i cannot add the doors or not i don't know yet if i want to we could leave it open but i mean for battle you kind of want to be protected so what i'm going to do is kind of see if uh, like adding in the engine back and look at the voxel volume and those sort of things and just to get this thing on flying status again um since i did rebuild the frame and you know just check out like what is the voxel volume like where's the f mass of the ship and all that and then i think next episode i uh, we will go ahead and add the weapons in here then the plating then the yolo system for the main weapon and then the, all the extra little bits like painting decals making it pretty lights that those sort of things so next up uh, right now, I'm just going to see if I can try to get this into flying status. And then, next episode, we will try to add the weapon. So I will see if I can make a little platform or something that's, you know, when we enter the ship, we go down into the into the um, uh, weapons area and the engine engine room. And then I think after that, so like maybe a few episodes f further, we will um, go ahead and do some painting decals, lighting, um, all those sort of things. But uh, yeah. So anyways, give me a second and let me see if I cannot get this thing going. Be right back. All right, and we're back and I got this thing in flying condition. And it is uh, giving issues again. Um, so, yeah. I will show you guys in a second what is going on. But I do have the cockpit on. It is... Oh, I felt like that was another ship. Uh, I do have the flight deck all set up, ready to go. I think I'm happy with it. I didn't add controls or anything just yet. I just I spent a few hours just trying to get the um, engine attached to the body of the ship. And then, you know, started flying. And then, yeah, the alignment is out again completely. Um, it's not completely aligned. So, yeah, I have no idea why it is doing that, but I think... Well, one hunch is that because of these plates, it's adding extra weight. Um, so the engines try to push the weight up, and then it's the uh, uh, same as before. The flight control, the uh, computer, decides, like, no, that's too much, and it fires those thrusters up, and uh, this whole thing... Um, so what I'm going to do off camera is going to add plates at the bottom so we can mirror the top from for plates and then uh, I will see what the ship does then. Um, yeah, because this is it is becoming a little bit of a bit more different design. I did move the thrusters up and down. I moved the whole plasma thruster with all the thrusters up and down a little to see if I can get more um, correct uh alignment out of it <coughs> excuse me so yeah excuse me it's like three in the morning for me I, I cannot get enough of the um ship designing so yeah 
that's what I am going to do. So uh, let me show you guys what I mean by why it is not really doing what I want it to do. So flying for forward is actually fine. It's normal. But as we can see, these side thrusters, they fire 100%. All right. Now, if I turn right, nothing's happening. Try and turn left. Nothing's happening. Downwards, only a little, just a tiny amount. Firing uh, uh, backwards or want to go up. Uh, yeah, going up. Nothing because these guys keep firing. So there is obviously maybe a balancing issue, but I decided like, you know, let's test out the roll. Oh, well, this works. So it is clearly the thrusters that are fighting against each other for some reason again. And it is kind of confusing. I just don't know really what to do. But hey, everything works. And we have a flight deck. And we got a hidey hole, which we can go through. Yay. <laughs> so yeah, but I will add like shafts so that this will be a little bit easier to get it up and down again. You know. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, the next episode we will uh, take put on some weapons and things just to see make sure that they work so it's going to be everything about weapons mounted weapons and those things and maybe the main weapon i don't know uh maybe i'll just do that off camera um but in between that i am going to try to see if i cannot like i said mirror that the uh plating so the weight balance becomes well balanced again so that I can see if I cannot get these guys balanced. So it is, it's a balancing act of this ship because of its odd shape. Uh, but yeah, I think that is it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on Starbase. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.